tinkering to cook for the family. How could I say no? Right, great. See you at Joss's then. Sounds preem. Jefferson, you said you needed something? I did. Listen, I need your help again. Matters. Private. Okay, shoot. No, not on the hall. I'll lay it out. Explain it all to you. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Never where? Of course. Be there in no time. Thanks. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Mike, we're talking um, about the bother us of doing my what platform. Exactly? I'm not doing a U-turn just because Night minute. Court... No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over.
we've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. SSI's pretty small time. Why didn't you go with Arisaka or Militech? It's what was recommended to us. On the bright side, we're not dependent on any mega corporations. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? No, none. Elizabeth's at a loss too. Security looking at this, say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He's my main rival, fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory.
Market, Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Oh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. Vote for Perales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Iron. This Jeff's? This is where we sleep. Wedding pick. 
Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. <laughs> blue roses? What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Congrats, I guess. You? You were great. Get all that shit I said to you. Eddie's will hit your pocket soon. And should I mention there'll be a bonus? Enjoy! Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Bullet holes. Caulked up. Intruders? Probably. No, of course not. A couple days ago. We rarely use it though. We're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. to make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him. Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. Thank you. 
Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I am not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Text practically prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. I saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short-range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Got a vision, the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter, and I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind.
How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corporal conspiracy. V. I'm telling you, they could be corporal spies or who the fuck knows what. Gonna lose them if you don't pick up the pace.
Jam-packed with hardware. My optics don't see any manufacturer info. Or detect any mods. They don't mass-produce trucks. Earjacking those. What are huh. they doing? Could be the what security firm or government. Media. Scouting for dirt on the paralysis. Pierce that we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm hmm Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. V. Do you have any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, um... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. 
They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait! Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there.
continues to be a major cause. Oh! 
Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Relax. No need to rush. Ah. Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head? All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it destroy him. Damn it, Elizabeth. Gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. You truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats. It'd be brave, but... Risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? 
I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis of lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. If I just peruse. Thank you. 